Hi everyone, this is Patty. I'm here today, I'm going to do a, a cut at home design team project, but I wanted to talk to you about the Spellbinders Inspire dies. They're just a very thin weight die. They come in all different kinds of designs, but they're the real thin wafer thin dies, and a lot of them are just a single type of image. And I was afraid you might overlook them as to, oh, well, what would I do with that? And I wanted to give you a couple of ideas. One is for this little lamp post, which I think is just a darling die. And what I've done is I've cut it multiple times, like six times. I glued them all together, one on top of the other, to keep, to create a piece that almost resembles a piece of chipboard. And on the top die, then I embossed it. So you get the um, the deep etching in it for like the, the uh, lamp post glass. That one I colored. I used some distress ink on it in the gathered twig. And also I used some um, distress crackle paint to give it that cracked. I don't know whether it will show here or not. That cracked age look. So that's one idea with that die. The die that I'm going to be using today is this cute little retro um, travel trailer, and it's an on-the-road one. It always makes me think of the I Love Lucy travel trailer, and I think it's just adorable. So I did the same thing. I cut it out. I think I have five or six cut out. Let me go in so you can see a little bit better here five or six that I've glued together. I've already put pop dots on this. And then I have a couple here that I was playing with trying to decide what color I liked. Well, I really wanted it to be this tealy color, but after I put it on, it was just way too much. I like the pink. I'm going to go ahead and glue these two on it so you can see how they stack up here. And I just used one of these zig um, glue pens because it lets me get the glue into all of these little areas here so then I can just stack them. And it won't matter that I've already played around and painted this one because I'm going to be covering it up. And then I just line them up, stack one right over the top of the other one here, line up my door, my windows, so that they're all one on top of the other. And since I already have this other one cut and there's nothing I can do with it, I would throw it away. I'm going to go ahead and put that one on as well. So it will just be a little bit thicker um, travel trailer when I'm done. You'll see with the finished part. I'm only going to show you this part. Then I'm going to turn the sound off. And I'm going to speed it up so you can watch me assemble, assemble this little card. I had some friends that went... Um, away on a little vacation in their motor home and I was just being a smart aleck I wanted to send them a little a little uh, travel trailer card with a cute little saying inside okay now this is going to be my top layer and I cut it and I made sure I embossed it really heavy and then before I took it out of the die see here it is in the die I took a Copic marker and I colored all of the pieces that I'm going to want colored like this. And now I'm going to take my, sure I am, where is it? Oh, here it is. My tooling one, this little Spellbinders tooling one. And I'm just going to simply go over it and release these. See how those little pieces pop out? There we go. And I don't have my tool in here, so I'm going to unscrew it. This is where I house the tools. I don't want that one. I don't want the pick. Of course, I unscrewed the wrong end. I want the little shovely one. And it just houses the tools inside, screws it back down, and then you have just a spring-loaded part here with a little knob. Line it up, put it in like that as long as you want it. And then I'm going to simply slide this underneath to release my die from, or my paper from the die. There we go. And just, there we go. And now you can see uh, where I colored it. 
through the um, through the die, and this one is going to be my top layer now. So I think I want this brown here. So what I'm going to do is I'm gently going to fold it back on these little creases just so I can get my thing in there and just give it a real light edge. And one more here. You don't have to do this. I just thought it would make the little windows and everything and the door and whatnot pop a lot more. This is going to be my very top layer on my little, it's going to be almost like a, um, a chipboard trailer now because I have put so many layers on it. Okay, here we go. We're going to use this glue. There we go. Down in here. And this little part here. Now I'm going to line it up over the top. Because this is the one that's going to show. So I want to make sure that I have this one lined up really, really good. I'm going to be using some um, ideology paper from Tim Holtz today. One is a wall paper flower or a wall, wall flower paper, get that right, which is in the store. I'm also using an older pack that's a destinations pack just because it um, worked with what I'm making and some other bits and bobs that were in my stash. So I'm going to turn the sound off because I'm going to want to speed this up so you can just watch me assemble the card. Okay, I hope you'll try these dies out. They are super, super cute. Thanks for watching, everybody.